What's up everyone? We're going to be looking at some flashlight mods. I've got an ultra fire and a mag light and then what I've modified them with is this golf grip, golf chamois. It just goes on a golf club, it's the handle part. And I picked these up, four of them, for like a dollar at the thrift store. And these are pretty cool. They're really heavy duty uh, rubber. Real flexible, real tacky. And it's hollow, so there's a number of things you can do with something like that. I've actually uh, cut the end off. So you want to cut about that much off, maybe about an inch off, off the end of it. And it's a little thicker there. It also has a hole. And then it leaves this tube. And I've used that for my hammocks for a um, tree hugger. And it protects the tree from getting all torn up, but also protects your rope from getting frayed. So it works really good for that. But it's kind of perfect because you cut off the end, you can use it for your flashlight. And then you use the sh main shaft for the uh, tree huggers or really anything with rope if you don't want it to get frayed. Okay, as far as the actual mods here, um, the Ultrafire I actually didn't do, um, didn't use the uh, golf grip. Essentially all I have is just a ranger band on the end of it here. And what that does is a couple things. It kind of constricts the beam of the flashlight. So you'll get a narrower concentration of the light. And it is going to affect the brightness a little bit and how much output you're going to get from the flashlight. But it's going to reduce the signature of the flashlight, particularly from the side. You're not going to see any of the light coming off the side. So if you need to be stealth or something like that, then you know, you can kind of use that to direct your light into a, a narrower beam and uh, it'll be a little more stealth. The other thing it does is it, it gives you about an inch or so, maybe a half inch depending on how big your ranger band is, of kind of a cushion. So if you drop it, it's, it's not going to, it's going to protect the lens basically. Now, yeah, technically, you know, something could hit directly through the middle and get the lens, but it's really going to give you some added protection as far as that goes. And, uh, you know, these are small, slick, uh, heavy objects, so they are prone to drop out of your hands. If they fall or hit a rock or something, you break the lens, break the light, then uh, you're out of luck. But a little mod like that can help, and you can just pop the thing right off if you need the full light, so... It's not a big deal. But that's just another use for a ranger band. Okay, and then what I did with the actual golf grip is I did the same thing with the ranger band on, on the mag light. And then I took that end of the golf grip and put it on there. Just wedged it in the ranger band on the end. Now what that does, since this already has a hole built in, that gives you an extremely small bead of light. This is a very powerful mag light, so you know nobody's even going to really nobody could see that except for where the beam is actually shining. Normally, mag lights are extremely bright. Most flashlights are nowadays, but uh, that's going to really restrict how much light is coming out of here. So, if you need to be really stealth and you want to have the option of still having a lot of light. You can always pop that off, otherwise you can just use that small little hole to shine the light. And then of course, that's going to basically make your flashlight indestructible. Because the only weakness of a mag light is the lens. And that's completely cut, covered. So you can literally drop that, or throw it face down on the concrete and it'll just bounce right off. And obviously the whole body of the, the mag light is very durable as well. So. I'm going to cut the lights out in a second and show you the actual beams of the, the lights. Um, I do have this little 350 cord lanyard here on the mag light. And then the ultra fire comes with a belt clip.
So let's uh, turn the lights off here and we'll take a look at them. Okay, so up first is the Ultrafire. Now it's not going to look much different unless you have something to compare it to. But we'll kind of turn it sideways so you can see the light signature from the side. I'm not going to shine it directly into the camera if I can help it because that's annoying. I also notice the brightness and the color of the beam. And we'll compare that to the mag light. The uh, Ultrafire actually is um, not as uh, bright as the mag light. So here's mag light. Now keep in mind that is a really small hole. Maybe, I don't know, sixteenth of an inch wide, an eighth of an inch wide. And you're still getting that much light. And if I back that up, that's going to spread out even more. So, it's not going to be as intense. But you can still, from quite a distance, you're going to get, you know, probably up to like a 8 foot, 10 foot wide circle of light. But it's still only a fraction of how bright a mag light normally is. And if you're working on something real close, there's not going to be much light coming off there. From the side, I'll kind of angle it towards the camera a little bit just so you can see that opening. And if you want to get it real close to something, just put it right on there. You're going to get a nice, bright, tiny dot of light. It's very concentrated. Now really the um, the uh, Ranger Band and the the Golf Grip shouldn't actually intensify the light. It's just a really bright light so even that small dot looks bright. But it's actually much brighter obviously once you take that off it's not really being like concentrated into a small beam the way you would think it would so that is basically our lights we'll kind of compare them both together now this is really no fair because the ultra fire has about 80 percent of its beam and the mag light has about 10 percent you can still see the maglite holds its own to the ultrafire. It's got more of a blue, bluish white light, whereas the ultrafire is a lot more yellow. But I prefer the maglite. And that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Uh, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.